You know what that is, right? It's called river rafting. Erosion sounds like a complicated word, doesn't it? What in the world is even erosion? Today we will learn about erosion. Welcome to Ray TV. Well, we will tell you everything about erosion and you will be a superstar in your class. Erosion is where land is worn or eroded away by forces such as wind, rain, and ice. I would like to point out one difference between erosion and weathering. Erosion carries away while weathering breaks down. Erosion is where land is worn away by different forces. If you think of water erosion, look for really smooth stones around rivers. These smooth stones may have often been tossed and turned around in the running water, which make them smooth. So, erosion can change the way things look, even like mountains, coastlines, and valleys too. But, how does erosion happen? We mentioned those forces that are working all around us all the time, like wind, water, and ice. These forces are the very things that actually cause erosion. There are other forces too. Erosion can take years and years, and sometimes it can happen really quick in the case of a flood. It all depends on which force is working always the hardest. The main force of erosion is actually water. It causes the most erosion on Earth. It is also known as one of the most powerful forces on the planet. But how does the water cause erosion? And what type of water causes erosion? First, there is rainfall, and as it hits the Earth, it can cause erosion which is called splash erosion. When these water drops all get together and flow like a stream, this also causes erosion. Rivers are one of the biggest creators of erosion over time. As they run along their merry way, they break up lots of little particles along the bottom of the river and off they go downstream. One of the best examples of understanding river erosion is to think of the Grand Canyon. Can you believe it, that it was formed by the Colorado River? It's amazing to see how rivers can change something so much. Large floods can cause erosion seriously quick as they become powerful rivers that change their things in their path. Let's learn about wind erosion now. Wind is actually quite a big force in erosion, and this is definitely more noticeable in dry areas. As wind moves along, it picks up loose particles and dust along its way. But how does the erosion happen? Well, this is when particles go crashing into the land and break off more particles. Can you think of an example? Take a minute to think. Sand dunes is a good example. Next time you go to a desert, check it out. Other forces of erosion. Have you ever seen rocks fall down of mountains? That happens because of gravity. Gravity pulls it down to earth. Let's check out some cool things that were formed out of erosion. Did you know the 10 most incredible caves in the world are a result of erosion? This is Blue Grotto. The Blue Grotto is a sea cave on the coast of the island of Capri in southern Italy. Sunlight passing through an underwater cavity and shining through the seawater creates a blue reflection. Next is the Cave of Crystals, formed in the Chihuahua, Mexico. This is the world's largest crystal caves. Last but not least is Weomo Glowworm Caves in New Zealand. The caves started forming 30 million years ago 
and yes, it glows.